How are you, Khalil? I'm doing well, thank you. How long have you been a licensed bail agent? Uh, 20 years. 20 years? Yes. All in Orlando, Florida? Orlando, Florida. Wow, that's yes. a long time doing bail. You enjoy it? I love it. Fantastic. Hey, some of the people that promote publicly funded release programs, like the Pretrial Justice Institute, they say that if you uh, send text messages to defendants, that, that, that that's kind of the, you know, that, that, that's all you really need to do. What do you think about sending text messages for court dates? I think it's a great idea. Uh, I think it's very effective. Uh, I do it, and it's been very effective. However, oh, you, wait a minute, you already do this? Absolutely. Oh, so, you, so your clients that are out on bond, they get text messages to remind them of their court date? They get text messages, they get voicemails, and they get emails from us. Wow. Okay, but when you send them a text message or, or, or an email, what would you say the other? I'm sorry, what did you Text message, emails, and voicemails. And, okay. Who pays for that? We do. Wow. So the government doesn't pay for Absolutely that? Absolutely not. Oh, so you pay for that to make sure that your clients show up to court? Yes, we do. Oh, so text messaging works. Yes, it does. That's fantastic. So no more failures to appear? Well, that's not true. We still have failure to appears. However, it has been drastically reduced as a result of using those uh, forms of messaging. Okay, so, but if they fail to appear, um, you could just send them another text, right? Absolutely not. If they fail to appear, we do have to get out of our offices and go get them if they don't respond to our phone calls. Wait a minute, letters. these pretrial justice people say that bondsmen uh, don't arrest their clients. So when you say go get them, do you mean go arrest them? Absolutely. But they say the police do that. No, the police, uh, they have very limited resources. A lot of times we have uh, other resources that we can reach out to um, outside of law enforcement. Uh, that would assist us in locating these uh, defendants when they don't respond to our text messages, emails, voicemails, or letters. So if you have a dangerous fugitive who misses court and a judge issues a warrant for his arrest, in your experience, it's not really sufficient just to send him a text and say, by the way, you missed court and there's a warrant for your arrest, you need to come turn yourself Absolutely in? Absolutely not. They don't generally do that? No, they don't. So when you say go get them, I mean, what, what exactly does that mean in some cases? Well, a lot of times a failure to appear could uh, mean that this defendant has uh, left the state, left the jurisdiction. Right. Um, when we go get them, we knock on the doors, okay? We talk to family members, we talk to friends and neighbors. Uh, we put a lot of manpower into, you know, locating these guys and, and bringing them back in. But if they leave the state, can't you just go in front of the judge and say, Your Honor, um, he left the state? Absolutely not. What would, what would happen if you told the judge, I'm sorry he left the state? He'd probably laugh at me. My responsibility as a bail bondsman is to ensure the uh, appearance of the defendant on his court dates. If what, if, what if you go to the other state and, 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 you, and you can't get him? We, we, we get him. I would say that uh, we have agents in other states, we have resources. All right, uh, but hypothetically, you don't get him. You tell the judge, sorry, I tried. That's when we open the checkbook and, and write a check for the, uh, the amount of the bond. Okay, just so, just so I understand this clearly, when you say the amount of the bond, if, if their bond was $5,000, how much do you charge to post that bond? In Florida, we charge a 10% fee, which would be 500. Okay, and out of that 500, you have to pay an insurance company, you have to pay the light bill, you have to pay the, the business operating expense. That is correct. So if the person becomes a fugitive and disappears, when you say you pay the bond, you pay him 500? No, absolutely not, we pay him 5,000. Oh, so you lose a substantial amount of money if you don't pick him up. Yes, we do. And none of that comes from the government? None of it. So with all your experience as a bondsman and all your experience with text messaging, um, uh, how, what would you say to these people that say you could eliminate bondsmen and just send out texts? I tell them to think again, because it's almost impossible uh, to re resolve that issue without the actual bondsman uh, behind the defendant. Uh, there definitely needs to be the human uh, factor involved in resolving these issues of failure to appears and ensuring that the defendants go to court. 
I am an advocate for technology and I do like the text messaging. However, I will not take the bail bond companies or bondsmen out of the equation. It will not work. Thank you very much.